Exe, uh, let's clue you up on some tech daily, man. You know? <laughs> Exe. Let you know. Exe, uh, what's going on in the world of tech? Some interesting news right now. Google in a bit of hot water. What ah. you say? Yeah, uh, 800 million rand. Almost. Sure. They've, been, they've been fined that amount of money by uh, uh, French privacy regulators this week. And this for not properly disclosing their information regarding how they collect user data and then how they ultimately use it for targeted advertising. Now, they've been accused of violating the GDPR or the General da Data Protection Regulation, which was introduced um, last year to protect uh, people's online privacy. And according to the French privacy watchdog CNIL, Google uses private data of users to target them uh, with adverts without the proper consent and they also make it so hard uh, for individuals to actually understand yeah. what it is that they're agreeing to when they sign up for a Google account because it's hidden behind pages and pages and pages of T's and C's and yeah. it's worded in such a way that the average person would find it near impossible you to will, understand. You will actually what, just not read it. Yeah, but just, <laughs> I, need, I need this account because I need email. Exactly. And then click, now you're Done. part of the thing. But at the moment, Google are currently quote unquote studying the decision to determine their next step. And this is according to a spokesperson. Okay. 800 million rand later. Ouch, oh. ouch, ouch. Google, mm. Google. Google 800 million dot rand and then and th Google will come up. And then Google will come then up. Then it goes into like a spiral spin. <laughs> then you break the internet. <laughs> that will definitely break the internet. <laughs> um, listen, how's this for another story? Um, so being a student, we love being students. Uh, you remember back in the it's day. Good old as days. Well. Good old days. But, but it's getting better now. It's getting better. It's getting better and better, especially for the students at George Mason University in Virginia. USA. Yeah. Virginia. So a startup robotics company called Starship Technologies. Sounds like something straight out of a movie, man. Right. Starship Technologies. They're launching a fleet of self-driving delivery robots at the university that will deliver food to students. Get Look at that fleet. Man. Yeah. So basically by using Starship's app, which will work sort, sort of like a like your Uber Eats, like we, we all use, yeah. now students can now have their meals delivered directly to their location from the restaurant for a very small delivery fee. Um, so hey, so cool. imagine being stuck late on campus studying, only to have a little robot drop off some pizza for you. Hey? That's so cool. I think there's it's like cool. a robot lane where they where they're driving. I don't know. That doesn't look like it. They look clever enough with little flags. It's like, and I'm coming. You also know how students do, right? <laughs> like, like with the driving through campus, then just like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but but these are your robots. Never arrives. Yeah, they have to adhere to 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 some rules. Yeah. Um, so they have to adhere to the speed and weight restrictions. Yeah. Um, which we don't know what they are, but um, yeah, they're able to run their full service on the campus, and I think it's cool, man. That's absolutely hey, amazing. Order, bang, bang, bang. Do, do they knock on the door? Like, what? <laughs> send the GPS. Bing. We are here. I think it's cool, man. Yeah, exciting cool. news. Well, let us know which uh, stories have caught your attention from the world of technology out there. Obviously, some very, very interesting <laughs> stories going around. And when you do uh, set them up on social media, hit us up with a hashtag Expresso Show so we can check out what you're all about.